Ross Ruiz for regular news, catching up with lightweight prospect Angel Moreno Rodriguez. Angel, first of all, congratulations to you guys. A great win by Yocasta Valle this past weekend. Excellent. She showed the world what uh, what her showcase, her talents are all about. Um, let's talk about your career now. <laughs> Uh, well, right now I'm coming off, uh, my last fight was in January, uh, coming off a loss, a loss by decision, it was for the uh, WBC, uh, a little WBC title, um, you know, but the loss really didn't mean anything to me, it was a good fighter, a uh, dude who came out strong, who didn't stop punching, um, and I'm, we're going to run the rematch, so I'm going to be ready, he was a veteran, he knew what to do, you know. Uh, that fight taught me a lot. It taught right. me a lot, uh, you know, uh, ring IQ and things that I needed to work on. You know, something that I needed to exceed to the next level. A lot of people would think you with an undefeated record, you would be taking on easy opponents. This was no easy opponent, right? Jose Marufo, what was the hardest thing about Jose Marufo? Uh, the hardest thing was that this dude just didn't stop coming. Uh, every uh, every second of every round, he just coming and coming nonstop, you know? so. Uh, I never really had uh, that kind of pressure put on me like that, but uh, it was good. It was fun. I had fun. Um, obviously, we knew this before the fight. We took the fight because I, I wanted something like that because if I want to fight the champions, I need to be ready. Right. I can't be fighting like little fights. I'm going to be knocking people out easy, you know? So uh, I, need, I, I knew what I was getting into, you know? Right. Okay, so now you've made some changes with your team. You're now coaching with uh, Coach G, Gloria Alvarado. Tell us how that came about and uh, what, are, what are the future plans uh, for your uh, upcoming fight? Um, it came about because my, uh, my brother, uh, he came to train here first. Uh, he had his last, his last fight in Costa Rica. He came to train here. Um, and I seen the difference in my brother, you know, the physical aspect and the boxing aspect. So uh, my dad was like, you should go check it out. And I came, here I am, and honestly, like, it's the greatest move that I, I think uh, that I've made. I okay. really feel like I needed this. Right. I needed this because this got me back to another level, you know, mentally. Uh, mentally, I was down for a long time, you know, I was going Why through was a lot that, of stuff. Angel? Huh? Why were you mentally just, down? Because just, of the loss? No, 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 no. Um, before loss, you know, I think... Uh, um, during the, the fight, that fight, uh, I, was, I wasn't I was right, you know, I was going through a lot in my life, okay. you know, a lot of things, so I, I didn't train right, I didn't train All correct, right. you know, and um, there's no excuse for it, uh, it is what it is, honestly, I was happy that I lost because it needed to wake, I needed a wake up call, yeah, now. I needed a wake up call, man, because it was for a minute that I was doing, you know, pretty bad and, and struggling, and that really woke me up and it got me to where I'm at now, and I'm happy right now, I'm really happy in my life. Your strength and conditioning team, uh, Mark Alvarado and Andy Agra, what does that bring to your to your arsenal, to your uh, uh, man? Honestly, yeah, I've never had I've like, never had training like that. Okay. So uh, I feel a lot stronger, uh, and I just started training with them too. I feel a lot stronger already. Um, I feel like we're gonna see a lot more knockouts, more devastating knockouts. All right. Yeah. Can you give us a little a uh, little summary of what this uh, new place is all about? Uh, yeah, this, this gym is tight, man. It has everything, you know. Um, okay. Strength conditioning, for the most part, Coach G is a great coach. Mm -hmm. um, she's she's fixing things that I needed to work on, things that I lack, you know. And uh, it's a great gym. Uh, I love the environment. It's a great environment. So I wake up every day wanting to come to the gym. When I go home, I want to come back and train. I can't wait. So you're here every day, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, I'm, I'm here every day, man. Okay. Yeah. Um, so again, to summarize, and because I know you gotta do, go do your strength and conditioning. Uh, when is your 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 guys's next uh, event? Um, see, we're having an event this month on the twenty what is it twenty fourth? I believe. Uh, I won't it's be fighting. Friday, today. right? Uh, June twenty fourth. Is it a Friday or Saturday? I think it's a Friday. Uh, yes. I'm not too sure. I know my next day is in July, so okay. July 23rd. All right. Yeah. So that'll be in Pomona. As that well? should be in Pomona. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What's the experience of you guys holding all these cars in Costa Rica? How how, how was that connection? Now? Um, going going to a Central Central American country. Uh, it's cool, man. Uh, my dad, we we met uh, Mario Vega uh, at a Canelo fight, you know, and right. after my first fight, and they became business partners and doing uh, shows out there where my little brother is currently fighting. He's gonna fight on Friday. Okay. So. In Costa Rica? It's in Costa Rica, All yeah. Right. He's fighting the last guy I fought in Costa Rica. So, Marufo? No, the last guy I fought oh, in Costa Rica. Oh, the last guy you yeah, fought in Costa Rica. Yeah, uh, gotcha. dude, I fought in Costa Rica. He was 13 and 1 at the time. So All I think right. right now he's like 13 and 3. So he's pretty good. It's going to be a good test for my brother, too. Tell us the meaning of your dad's, your guys' company, 
uh, showcasing on, on a huge car like it was at the Sonka this past weekend and, and what does it mean for you guys moving forward uh, striking a deal with Golden Boy Promotions? Um, you know, my, my dad's company, the point of my dad's company, the reason why he started it was for me and my brother, you know, to, to help us and... Uh, and it's through growing that, all that. And, and through that, he what he's trying to do is give kids a chance who don't have a chance on the big promotions, kids yeah. who, who don't have big amateur background. And look and look exactly what happened with Yokasa. Yeah. You know, she was a world champion, yeah, but look look where she's at now, signed a Golden Boy, fighting with Golden Boy. You know, so that's what my dad's trying to do is get fighters who who don't have the the chance to be on those kinds of cars and stuff to get them over there. Get them big enough to go over there to the big companies. All right. Again, congratulations on you guys' this, uh, company success. Thank you. And we hope to see you in the ring pretty soon. So you said July 23rd, you're going to straighten your right. career with another Fireworks. W, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much, Angel.